When I was very small, I was like drawing. My grandmother, who died when I was 10, she was very supportive and she used to um, give me lots of paper to draw and everything like that. I was the only artist in the family. She said to me, oh no, you're not going to go into the green grocery business, which my dad was in. So oh, one day you're going to be an artist, you know, you'll be an artist. And I, I've always sort of thought that that was what I was going to be. I was always drawing faces from my imagination, which I'm still doing now. But um, I wanted them to look like real people. When I go to an exhibition, you know, I go to it and I look at it as if, now, how, how did they do that? I wonder if I wanted to do that, how would I, you know, so it's kind of like I'm learning techniques just by looking at shows as well. I like, I like looking at original paintings and seeing, because I'm self-taught. Well, I've got sort of loads of ideas in, in, in my sketchbooks, which I can go to. That's the first starting point, anyway. When I put the paint on it, it's kind of, it's not thick, you know. I, I tend to use a sort of thinnish technique. As I started off as an illustrator doing commercial work, so I, I think I pretty much covered every possible subject matter. Solving the problems for book covers and record sleeves and I did a lot of advertising work. And as time goes by, you get more and more used to be able to do things. So eventually you can kind of do these things without having the, the photograph in front of you. I mean, I can draw faces of any age, shape, form now, with it almost from my eyes closed, you know, because I've just done it for so long. I was just hesitant about oils because they, you know, they're quite, it's, it's like grown up painting. I, I, I eventually got into oils, you know, I haven't looked back. I, I think oil's probably my favorite medium. It's, it's a very solitary business being a painter because you don't have anyone really telling you what to do and criticizing you. My wife's probably my best critic. She's pretty good at telling me whether it's going the right direction or not. But I, I usually know myself by the time I ask her, I say, you know, what do you think of this? And uh, she knows already that I'm not quite sure about it. Very rewarding though when it goes well. Sometimes a painting would just work so uh, easily, not so much easily, because it's always hard work, but it, it's just like the painting's painting itself. These people I'm painting, they don't actually exist, but when I'm painting them, I'm almost like I'm making them come to life. Perhaps they were real people once upon a time, and they're, um, they're guiding my hand, you know, saying, no, 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 my mouth doesn't look like that. <laughs> That's my little fantasy anyway. <laughs>